I have, I have questions. I have rants. I am not happy. I went into networking. Well, I went into system settings on not system preferences, system settings on Ventura. And I noticed a couple of things, John. The first thing that I noticed is that there is both a Wi-Fi and a network preference item. They're not even preference panes anymore, but I'm going to call them preference panes. Why is there both Wi-Fi and network? Because if I go into network, I can see Wi-Fi in there. But if I go into Wi-Fi, all I can see is Wi-Fi. Uh, what madness is this? What, what, mm. Whose fault is this? Why do you... Who puts things in two places? That's terrible user interface design. I mean, I know Synology does it a bunch in DSM. I'm used to it. I, I will adapt. But, but WTF? I mean, what, this is redonkulous. I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Uh, yeah. As Brian Monroe points out in our chat at live.macgeekup.com, that's what Microsoft likes to do. This is not Apple. Steve would not be happy about it. this. Would not have been permitted. He wouldn't have let this happen. Stupid. I don't yeah. mind the new paradigm. The implementation of the new paradigm is what I mind. It's stupid. Okay. Okay. Um, well, maybe Nick has some advice that could help you, Dave. Sure. Okay. Ready? Sure. I'm, I'm ready for my therapy, man. Yeah, Nick, help. Um, so Nick says, in episode 952, you mentioned the new system settings in Ventura. It does take some getting used to, but just like in iOS, the search box is your friend. Type in whatever setter you're looking for, and the search results will show you the path to get there. So. Um, okay. And, and well, he also says, yeah. So I noticed something as well. Um, I agree with you about the Barry Time Machine settings. I checked the box to show it in the menu bar so I can get to it easily. Um, but here's something else, Dave, about Time Machine. Guess what they did? Um, if you click on the Options button, so it's not obvious. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure about this new layout either. But if you if you go to Time Machine and then click on Options, there's a backup frequency setting. Uh, um, yeah. which they never had before. Um, but the thing is, I also use Time Machine Editor, and that still works. But um, you know, if you if you want to dial it down, because the thing is, a uh, Time Machine typically runs every hour, and that may be a bit much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so now I think they have it where you can do an hour, uh, a day a week uh, but but anyways you you can set the frequency to something other than once every hour yeah let me uh i i i have screen shared to my machine downstairs just so we can um so we can do this so yeah you can set the backup frequency right you're right manually every hour every day or every week i love that that you know like on my laptop every week is more than enough uh, I've been having trouble getting time machine to run consistently on my laptop. I don't know what that's about. I got to dig into that, but, uh, but I do like the idea of it only running once a week. Okay. All right. So thanks that there, there is, see, I'm excited about some of these changes. That's good. I, I'm about to go back down the deep dark hole here though. Uh, because I, 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 there's, there's things I don't understand. The other day, I wasn't sure if my Mac was back to putting itself to sleep. It's not. It, that didn't change. But there were some symptoms that I saw that I thought, oh, well, maybe the installation of Ventura reset the fact that I had my Mac set to stay awake all the time because of all those Thunderbolt problems. I'm going to test it to see if those Thunderbolt problems are gone. Uh, you know, the ones where if it goes to sleep, it wakes up, it doesn't quite see the Thunderbolt devices the right way. And you got to like unplug and reset and hold your mouth just right. It was simpler to just let my Mac uh, stay awake all the time. So I went in where to energy saver. Is that where you would go, John, to, to find this setting? Probably. Sure. Because you're a reasonable human. You're not insane. Um, so, you know, that's where you would go. Well, energy saver, John has, uh, on my machine has three options. Put hard disks to sleep when possible. Wake for network access. Start up automatically after a power failure. 
And then because presumably because I have a UPS plugged into it, uh, I via USB, a battery backup for, for those that didn't quite catch what a UPS is. Uh, I have a UPS options button, but that's it. I got three options there in Energy Saver. Not one of them relates to putting the Mac to sleep. How about you do, uh, do, on, on Energy Saver on your, your Mac there? You want to just check that for me? Confirm that I am not insane, although I feel like Apple's trying to drive me that way. Yep. So you're going to check Energy Saver there for me. Uh, while you're doing that, I figured, okay, maybe it's on lock screen. So did you check energy saver there, John? Um, well, I don't have it here on your if Mac I type in energy. It then highlights battery battery. And oh, display. and it, and it matches on displays. Look at that. Ah, right. So there you go. So I thought I'd look in lock screen because, okay, maybe. Yep. And there's turn display off when power adapter went inactive, but there's no turn the Mac off. So as you pointed out, John, displays is where to go. And not just displays, but displays advanced. And there are, count them, four options in displays advanced. The first three have to do with link to Mac or iPad. So this is the whole, you know, push your Mac through the side of the screen and get the other Mac. I turn that off because I, I don't want to be controlling the computer on a different floor of the, the building here. So I, I turned that off and that, I was okay with that. Uh, all, but the bottom one sits alone on an island. And what's the name of the, the, the category that it's in? Energy. Why is this in displays? Because the option is prevent automatic sleeping when the display is off. I feel like we've prioritized the wrong word in that. They're saying prevent automatic sleeping when the display is off. And therefore displays is where they chose to put this. This is madness, folks. It needs to be an energy saver because what's it doing? Saving or not saving energy. But Mac sleep isn't really display sleep these days. Kiwi Graham said that in, uh, in, our, in our chat room here. He says Mac sleep is really display sleep these days. That is incorrect. If your Mac, if, like putting the display to sleep is great, but there is a separate Mac sleep and that was the whole thing with that Thunderbolt problem. Like it does put the Mac to sleep or not. And uh, why is this buried here? I just don't. Apple, what are you doing to me? Why are you doing this to me? I feel, I feel, um, I feel like they've targeted me, John. I'm not happy about it. We've got one last thing about Ventura settings that might maybe help some of us, mm -hmm. John, maybe. Uh, the, the voice so of reason. Tony says, um, oh, interesting. Uh, Tony uh, it moved from Osaka to Mexico. All Used right. To Tony in Osaka. Now he's um, Tony in uh, Queretaro. Uh, I don't know how, how to pronounce that. I think that's right. Quere, Queretaro. Thank yeah, you, you, John. Gotta, gotta, All right. Yeah, you're well, right. Well, there's that accent over the E. But anyways, um, Listening to Mac Geek App 952 and installing Ventura simultaneously. <laughs> That's dangerous. Um, a more familiar view of system settings can be found in system settings, menu bar, view. The, uh, if you do this, you'll then have an alphabetical listing of all the available system settings. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes it easier to find them if you know what, what pain things are in. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what cracked me up is at the end of it is his email. Um, my Spanish isn't very good, but but he says, No te dejes atra atrapar. Aha, very nice. Oh, I you like what that. what that means? I think I do. I think I've said that on the show, but it's been like a decade. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that's don't get caught, man. Correct. <laughs> is that right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Why did we say that on the show? I, who knows why we do things on the show? Because it's fun, and we got to have some fun 